All right, what's up, savages? Thanks for following along with this uh, this video series here, how to make the Mandalorian helmet. All right, so there we go. We got the overall shape there. Uh, still, as you can see here, it's not very smooth. This back part is smoother, and this part is not as smooth. Let's go to edit mode. And you'll see here we have a lot more uh, geometry there. And that made it a little rougher. It did help out with some of this other stuff here. But now we're going to get rid of some of that. Uh, to do that, just hit A to select all. And then we're going to perform a limited dissolve. It's going to smooth it out. There's some parts I don't want to smooth out. Like, for instance, around here, I don't want to uh, lose anything there. But let me just show you what happened here by hitting A to select all. X key, limited dissolve. It's going to make a big difference. But then we're just going to make some adjustments later. There it is. Cool. Way smoother. So you can see there. But now I got this there. That's because that um got rid of some of the geometry there for those edges. Uh, this part here is a lot sharper. And we got a little bit of a blemishes there. So we'll just undo and we'll deselect those parts. I can try rebuilding it by hand, but it's probably just easier to undo those, uh, to deselect that part there and undo it. All right, so we don't want that being ruined there. So I'm going to hit the C key for circle select and just drag select around, around there. There we go. I just do that whole section and see what happens if I just deselect that whole section there. It'll be a lot easier than being all extra careful with that. Why did I skip all those? There we go, there we go. And I'm gonna lose that there. I'm gonna keep that there. And I'm gonna need this to support that section there. Alright, is there anything in there? There's little small ones in there. I guess I can leave those. This part, did that part get messed up? Yeah, this part was a little distorted. So let me deselect that there. All right. Cool. And you know, I actually need uh, need some geometry here. Not enough to do the redo that selection. Let me add this part here. Pay for join. And this will definitely make a lot better. There we go. All right. Now, A to select all, and now to deselect those other sections there. Hold on shift. There we go. And this section here. Cool, cool, cool. And then this whole top row right here. There we go. There we go. Cool. Looking better. Now X key. I'm going to dissolve. There we go. So I still got some of that there. And quick fix, I'm going to hit control R and put that there and then bring it down, smooth it out. Come on, come on. Didn't smooth it out. Let me go up. No, oh, didn't make a difference either. So then I'm going to have to redo that part there as well. <clears throat> All right, but that part's looking better here. So we know that worked out. This is looking good. I just got to do something about the top section there. Undo. Undo. All right, got that there. And these I'm obviously going to have to keep selected. Maybe I'll just, oh, I see what happened here. It's because these are, these are distorted. So what if I just leave those there and add another loop cut in here? To help me out with that section there. There we go. A to select all. Now to deselect these sections there. There we go. And then maybe just deselect this section here where it was getting messed up. All right. Now X key limited dissolve. And bam, still, still doing this to me. <laughs> all right. I'll just try fixing it from here. So. I guess I could join these right here. Alt M. Oops, just M. Merge that. Yeah, I think the first one I selected. All right, it's looking better. Alt M. M. Uh, first. All right. I'm going to cover that up later anyway, so I don't have to worry too much about it. Oops, I have too many selected there. Just trying to select these two there. M at first. This one first and that one, and then merge them at the first one. 
uh, first. All right, it looks a little neater. And later I'm going to hide that anyways. All right. Tab key. And still not liking this part here. This geometry right here. Let's see. GY, why to pull it forward? Oh, it looks a little better. All right, GY, let's pull it out, make it even so you can see it on the outside. That should make it better. And same thing with this section here. Join. There we go. And then dissolve edge there for dissolve vertices. Don't make a hole. Cool. Just patching that up. And this one looks like it has to be also pulled up. I'm just going to dissolve these right here. That'll make it better. Dissolve vertices. There we go. The bottom part looks a little rougher. That's all right. Let me join these here. There we go. And I can leave that there. Cool. All right. Let me see the picture. All right. Supposed to be a good ridge up there, noticeable ridge. I have to redo this geometry there. Uh, uh, should be all right, but just in case, let's redo that. All right, select these two here, right click subdivide, and I'll pull these down later. Right click subdivide, select that there, right click subdivide, and I'm going to select these here. And then shift V, vertex slide, that way it stays on the edge. And then I'm going to join them with uh, this other edge over here at the other end. About the same height. I can look at the um, information here, make sure the same height in the Z, but I'm all right. J for join. There we go. So I got that back there. Not looking better. And I got something in there. Kind of sticks out and might not be noticeable. So go to face selection and select the faces there on the inside. Hold on the alternate key. And I went too far over here. Don't want to select that. And I don't want to select this one either. There we go. Just the ones there on the inside. And let's see what's going on. Maybe I can bring this inward or scale it down. Oh, makes it horrible. You see what happens if I subdivide it? Build it up with some subdivisions. Undo. Let me see SZ. I know what I got to do. I got to sharpen up the uh, the edges there on the outside. So I selection there. Well, an alternate key actually. Alternate key right there. Then alternate shift for this bottom part. There we go. And we're going to get this part here too. And then we're going to hit the shift of E. And we'll sharpen it up in there. There we go. Got rid of that little flying saucer disc thing that was in there. All right, all right, all right. And I think there's another edge over here that I should have selected. I got that one there. Is there any other edges? Shift E. There we go, that's cool. That's cool. And that is selected there. And there we go, looking like fire. This is the way. All right. Thank you for watching. Oops, something right there. What's going on right here? So I gotta try to fix this. I mean, I can just dissolve this. X key, dissolve edges. Come on, it's better fix it. Cool, a lot better there. Something right here, not very noticeable. Let's see there. And you try to sharpen up this edge here. Let's see, alternate select. There we go. Make sure it's all the way back. Shift D. And it didn't actually select everything. It didn't select these there, so undo. And select these here as well. Oh, another section there. That's from the extra vertices that I have there. Shift D, 
pull that out. And I'm just going to limit it dissolve. That's the whole section there. Limit it dissolve, X key. So I can get rid of those extra vertices that I probably don't need in there. There we go. Cool. And should only be one there. Yeah, for those other edges back there. So that's cool. It's, I can still see it a bit, but it's not as noticeable. It looks a lot neater. There we go. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. You can support the channel by liking, commenting, sharing, anything else. Let me do this one here too. Shifty, just make that sharper there. There we go. I like that better. Cool. Have an awesome day. You can, uh, like I was saying, support, support the channel. Keep me a subscribe. That's the best thing you could do for me. Watch the whole video. That will definitely help out. Share it, comment it, ring the notification bell, anything else. This is the way. Best car? I'm a Mandalorian.